Number one, it's education. It's not just a qualification or a certification of capabilities. It's actually an education, so it's continuing. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to follow an MBA program. It could come, it has certain requisites, uh, you know, skill sets that need to be developed, but it's attainable. Um, the, the VA is, is a big piece of it. Um, CCIM has gone a long way to establish a relationship with the VA, and it's an opportunity for someone who's not using their benefits for college, for their kids, or otherwise, it's an opportunity to use that to become educated um, in commercial real estate. Just that this is all going to be applicable. Uh, I, I work in the mortgage banking side of our business at CBRE, and I've been focused solely on the financial component from business school all the way through the, fir the first half of CCIM. Now I'm looking at understanding what's really out there in the market, how you analyze it, and most importantly, can you get ahead of the market and you know start creating larger market share. Transition and veterans need to know where they're trying to get, and there, there's going to be help along the way. A lot of the transition programs, I think, get it wrong. They, they try to offer a one-size-fits-all solution, and it, it would help a lot to decide what you want to do in the end. And, and, and that's asking a lot, and what people need to understand is just, it, it doesn't have to be, you have to start going in a direction. And you, you might change. You might start thinking about real estate and end up in uh, personal wealth management. The point is, decide on something and find out how to get there. So if we're talking about commercial real estate, what are the ways to get to commercial real estate? You don't necessarily need a college education, but it helps. You don't need an MBA, but that certainly helps. So then the best thing to do is meet real estate people. Uh, find out what it takes. There's a lot of different aspects of real estate. Find out what that means and what you might be interested in and start going down that road and figure out what it's going to take to get there. Um, you don't need CCIM to do commercial real estate, but it'll help a lot and it's an education. So I, th I would think that a large percentage of veterans who've committed to going into commercial real estate would be very interested in, in the education that CCIM provides.